doing this, my partner Dave Rojak and I wanted to really create a new experience for people. Uh, there's such a huge foodie culture, foodie community here in Alberta, Edmonton, Calgary that we thought this would be a great idea to create something new that hasn't been done before. Uh, we have Chef Sylvia Barban flying in tomorrow from Brooklyn, New York. We've got the Hatch Winery from West Kelowna coming out. We've got Alley Cat Brewery, which is a local brewer here in Alberta, and Vignettes YG from Edmonton. We're all coming together and uh, creatively, collectively putting together a real special dining experience. David Rojek, and I'm the co-founder of, uh, of the Nomad Dinner Club. Um, this was a project that kind of just came about in the last couple of weeks, eight weeks to be exact, and uh, I guess I, I went to one of Travis's pop-ups one day and, and saw what he was doing, and we ended up talking after the pop-up, and he was telling me about this uh, dinner club idea he had, and I kind of told him, I'm like, you know what, I had the exact same idea, and I started telling him how me and a friend were talking about doing this about a year and a half, two years ago, and as he was telling me his, his vision, it was like I can basically finish every sentence that he was saying because it was exactly the same as what I had talked about before. So we're like, well, we both have this idea. We both want to do it. Let's just do it. I've done a lot of events in the past where I flew in DJs to, uh, to do parties and, and I kind of saw like this as like another opportunity to make the, make the chef basically the, the entertainer and the DJ, uh, make them the, the center of attention and bring, bring them to people in Alberta and eventually across Canada. I got a knock on my door in my bedroom at about uh, 5 a.m. and Travis came and he said to me, he's like, uh, there was some mix up with immigration. Uh, they had given her some incorrect forms, wanting a medical. Uh, she called me in tears, upset. And we got on the phone and we called Sylvia and we kind of were trying to get to the bottom of it and what was going on. And from what we understood, uh, basically they didn't want to let her on the plane because they said that she needed a, a medical exam to get into Canada. And we, we tried to um, book her onto another flight. Maybe we thought if we, instead of going through Canada, if we went through uh, Delta or something else, we can kind of still get her in in time. And uh, basically we booked that flight. She went into the Delta counter. They told her the same thing, that she needs to fill out this medical form have it signed by a doctor and uh, so the only thing we could do she called uh, the Italian embassy and I don't know what she said to them but somehow the Italian embassy ended up speaking to the airline and they got her on the flight unfortunately she won't get in until 10 p.m. <laughs> so we're gonna miss Calgary but we still have in Vancouver so uh, we'll have to finish strong and, and make the best of what we have today man are we ever lucky that we've got April Lee uh, April Lee is a rock star so uh, she is going to be running the kitchen. She is an exec head chef, so it's, it's nothing out of her norm, but you know, she's executing someone else's menu. Been in touch with Sylvia over the last few days, getting all her instructions so she knows exactly what she wanted. And um, yeah, this morning there was kind of some panic and she, she talked to her again and they kind of got the, the details sorted out on how to prepare the rest of the food for today. And she stepped up to the plate and she, uh, hopefully everything goes smooth from here on. This being the first one that we were doing, right? It's easy to sit and dream big and we need this and this and... Tonight, it's yep. gonna be full of surprises if it keeps going the way it's going. You know, they'll have a great turnout. It seems like really hit up the culinary scene and, and really invited some really cool key pivotal people. And we know from doing similar shows that, you know, attracting the right audience and spreading the word is really great. So, I mean, word of mouth will be good. So this is a, kind of her actual um, concept in a way. Uh, she wanted to really kind of represent where she is from um, and her place, her favorite places in Italy. So it's kind of almost like a forest meets ocean kind of a feel. So over here, it's all of our ocean uh, views and we found the region in Italy that um, she wanted to display to everyone. And one was more forest, as Vicky had said, and one was more ocean. So. We drew our inspiration from her and just trying to go with the kind of concept based kind of on her menu as well. She was uh, using a lot of seafood and stuff in everything she's cooking, so. The nautical ropes will transition you as canopy over sea and the forest stuff, so on the top of the table you're gonna get lots of the, we wanted all branches unfortunately in Alberta during the season, so we got things that represented all branches. We kind of designed based on experiences.
Nomad brand is all about experiences. And what Vignettes did with that space is they completely transformed it and it was almost fairy tale esque right? It, it was enchanting, it was just the lights, it just was very, it was sexy, uh, you know, and I, I thought the room gave a great ambiance.